I know everyone's walk has been different, but that's what makes us unique and what molds our skill sets, our morals, our talents that we can share with one another. About eight years ago, and due to a change in marital status, um, my son and I, we moved to a, a different town from where we had lived. Um, we had been very active in our church, and that was very important to us, so we started attending another church. We got involved right away in Bible study, the youth group, vacation Bible school. It, it just really felt like home. But one Sunday prior to the service, uh, the pastor pulled me aside and told me that my son would not be able to take communion anymore uh, because he was gay. Um, if, he said that if he did come forward at that time, that he would be refused. And as I sat there, the service started and I'm wiping tears and they're coming down my face and, and I just felt really hurt um, because that was supposed to be a safe place. It was supposed to be a place of acceptance. And on this day, we were not accepted. That is the last time that we set foot in that church. And there were several members of the church that did leave because of what happened to us. Uh, one was the youth minister. Um, she's still friends with my son today. And she was very helpful in the healing that he needed uh, to move forward from this experience. My son, he is a very driven person. He's a hard worker. Uh, he's a good leader. He has a strong faith in God. At one point in his life, he wanted to go into ministry. Um, he has a big heart. If anybody needs a place to stay for a few days, here he comes. And he does anything to make anyone feel welcome and accepted. He's a good kid. So not a kid anymore, a young man. As a parent, as a mother, we want to protect our children from anything. We don't want them to be hurt. Sometimes we can't protect them from everything. Um, in a million years, I would have never thought that uh, his father would, and their family would turn their back on him, but they have. And so I can't protect from that. But what I can do is teach him how to react to that, how to be, uh, still be respectful, uh, continue to be yourself. Don't let what other people do or, you know, words that people say, don't let that have an influence on who you are and who you want to be. Um, you should be able to be yourself and, and there's a lot of people out there that will love you for being yourself. They love you for just who you are. Since this happened about eight years ago, um, I have remarried and we have blended two diverse families together. He has always called my son um, his bonus son, and that's been pivotal for my son's healing on every level. And they just, people who go through situations like this are made to feel like they've done something wrong, and that couldn't be further from the truth. No one should ever feel that way for being themselves. The church we belong to now feels like home because it's the people, it's, it's those that uh, care that actually go out of their way to make sure that everything's good in your world and, and you can tell that there's genuine concern. Everyone needs a safe place to call home and that home could be that congregation um, because we all want to be respected. We, we all want to be ourselves. Um, it's very personal. It builds these positive relationships and those relationships impact every piece of our lives. It doesn't mean that we have to agree with everybody, but we should respect them as individuals. You know, I want my kids, I want my grandchildren, uh, I want them to embrace and understand for future generations to build those same relationships that are healthy. For myself, um, I believe that Christianity and diversity, equity, and inclusion, they complement each other, they support each other. Uh, looking around at those that attend the church that I go to now, I see so much diversity and it, it feels so good to know that anybody can walk in that door and they're accepted, they're respected, um, they're considered you know, someone that we embrace, someone that belongs there, that's included, um, everybody's equal. Be yourself, just be yourself. And I think that's the message that we want to 
continue to share. We want to continue to live and really make a difference in all the, everybody that we touch throughout our days. I feel very fortunate to be part of a company who values diversity, equity, inclusion. At Ameren, um, we have it as a core value because we believe in it. They value each individual. They believe that our differences make us a stronger company, and they know that it takes courage to make that a reality. So part of my job is conducting onboarding sessions with new employees, and I know that I can make a difference from that day one. We can share the importance of this value, and we can make every person feel welcome, and we can set that tone for what we believe in here as a company. And I think if we can do that for every employee coming in, that eventually, you know, it's, it's gonna make a difference from that very beginning. 2020 has been quite a year and a lot of it's negative. There's so much going on. But as far as, you know, a lot of the things that have happened in the world today have pushed diversity, equity, inclusion to the forefront. And, you know, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's, it's out there for a reason because it, it's that important. It needs to be addressed. It, we need to have those conversations. Is it easy? No, it's not easy, but it, it can be done and it can be done respectfully. And that's, that's key. Uh, the key is to have compassion when you ha have those conversations. You know, we all have the courage to have those conversations. It's just knowing how to approach and how to address. And also on the other side, to be open to any questions. Uh, people are curious, they wanna know more and we should appreciate that people are taking the time to want to know more about us as, as who we are or as individuals or what we're thinking. I believe that everybody has choices in life and we can choose how we allow others to make us feel. But being aware of others and being open to those conversations, uh, listening to others, being a shadow of a leader who cares and has compassion and respect for others. Um, but we should also continue to grow and learn and develop our skills and just embrace life to be ourselves. For my son, the lessons that he has learned, um, he's learned to let some things go, that everyone is entitled to their opinion, but that doesn't mean that it has to have a negative impact on who we are. He's true to himself and that helps him be a better leader and to care for others.